podcasting. With sadness, I have to tell you that this is maybe the only method that by itself will never replace your day job unless you use it in conjunction with something else. However, it all depends on how you quantify success. If money is the only denominator, then yes, the method is a weak one. If, however, you take into consideration things like the impact of your message, how many people you can reach, then this is one of the best way you can spread an idea. So, how does it work? This is fairly simple. You create a show about whatever you want. Obviously, the more you know about the topic, the more you will enjoy the subject and the more likely you are to become successful. I'll share two examples of podcasts that are extremely successful and I'll take into factor things like longevity, frequency of content creation, quality of content and the intensity and passion of their listeners. Most probably you've heard of them both and if you haven't I strongly encourage you to give them both a listen and I'm sure you'll become a fan as well. The first example is Stuff You Should Know, a show where Chuck and Josh talk about various topics for about 30 to 50 minutes. The show comes out two times a week and I've lost track since they started but by now they have thousands of episodes. What's great about it is that it doesn't have a traditional approach where they are very strict on discussing a single topic. Most of the times they stray off the beaten path and discuss things that have nothing to do with the show title. However, their personalities bring so much to the conversation that it just gets you hooked. Statistic-wise, the show has been downloaded more than a million times each week on iTunes and is in the top 10 podcast rankings. So I guess you can call it a success. And for my second example, I have Hardcore History. This is a show where Dan Carling, its creator, tackles history subjects in a totally different way than most of us were taught history in school. He only slightly focuses on the when and what and focuses mainly on the why. He tries to get inside the minds of world leaders, have profound understanding of the thinking behind their decisions, and all this while delivering a very passionate speech that makes you feel as if you're witnessing the events for yourself. His shows range from 15 minutes blitz editions to marathon series that have up to 6 episodes with some of them being as long as 5 hours. And although we live in a day and age where 3 minutes can be considered too long to discuss a topic, Dan Carlin manages to get millions of people to listen for hours on end to his podcasts. The reason why I mention these two shows is to prove that it doesn't matter the format you choose, it doesn't matter the subject of your podcast, what matters is your passion and how well you can deliver it to your listeners and also your commitment, not stopping after just a few episodes. Okay, okay, so what do you need to start? In terms of equipment, you need a good mic. The price range for those is anywhere from $50 to $150. Of course, there are mics that cost more, but believe me, a semi-professional mic is all you need for now. Then you have to start creating your script, and after that, record. And this task is what will take you time and energy. So maybe before getting to work, take a few days off and think about what you will be talking about for the next few years if you are taking this money-making method serious. Moving on to the next step, when can you see results? This is purely guesswork. Results will come slow and steady, but will come. I just watched a video by Gary Vaynerchuk, a very vocal entrepreneur on social media networks, where he mocks people saying he got lucky and got to be an overnight success. And during the video, you have in a corner cutscenes from each of the 1000 episodes of Wine Library TV, a YouTube show where he reviewed wines for the past few years. And he says how tired he is of getting all these emails from people quitting after just a few weeks and calling him lucky. He did a thousand one hour episodes that most of them got a few hundred views, some less before taking off. Are you committed enough to put in a thousand hours? If not, then maybe the subject you want to tackle with your podcast is not your true passion or maybe podcasting is not for you. So what are the potential earnings? In terms of earnings, it all depends. Podcasting on itself won't generate that much, if any. However, if you got the eyeballs, the hordes of listeners who watch you every week, then you can do sponsorships. You can also do affiliate marketing, you can sell products, or do what Dan Carlin does, sell bundles of past shows for just $5. Also, you can ask for donations, or get funding through sites like Indiegogo, Kickstarter, or even Patreon. So. Where do you start? Starting is actually easy in this case. 
The hard part is sticking to it and committing to your goal. So get in front of your mic, start recording, put your content on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and any way you consider it appropriate. Pay attention to the feedback you are getting from all the initial listeners, adapt and keep on creating shows. Now go, become the most successful podcaster that ever lived. Good luck.